You guys hear me okay? Terrific. Fantastic. Well, I am super excited to be here today. I actually was introduced to Limbic Arc probably on maybe about two weeks ago. And um, I've had some health challenges. I've actually had um, Crohn's disease for the last 20 years of my life. I also am the mother to three amazing little kids who are seven, five, and two. So needless to say, that's keeping me busy. I'm in the process of nearing um, a divorce right now, which means there's a lot of stress involved with that. And one of the main causes and flare up things with my Crohn's was definitely stress, right? So most recently, my, my disease had just progressively gotten worse and worse and worse. And being the person I am that's very spirited and not wanting to be on all of these immune suppressing pharmaceuticals that they want to put you on for um, such diseases as Crohn's disease, um, especially during a pandemic when I don't want my immune system compromised, I was trying to doctor myself um, at home. And unfortunately, um, I wasn't disciplined enough to be a vegan, which probably maybe would have helped a little bit more, but um, there was so many things. And so it was August 19th of this year that I went in, I admitted myself down. I, I live here in Minnesota and I'm five hours from a renowned, um, the renowned uh, Rochester Mayo Clinic. And so I went down to the Mayo Clinic, admitted myself to the ER, got admitted right away because I was very, very sick. I was incredibly dehydrated. I was in the hospital for 10 days. And um, within 24 hours, I was in my first surgery and I had grown abscesses, unfortunately, um, in my uh, rectal area, whatever you want to call it. And was I had six drain tubes in then while I was down there. I had um, a surgery and had they cut off my where my right before my colon. So now I have a colostomy bag. So ileostomy, I think is the proper term for it. So and to me, it's actually a total godsend that I have that because I actually can live my life again. Um, but unfortunately, I had felt these abscesses, which become like almost hard masses of infection inside of my butt cheeks. And I don't know how else to say it nicely. Um, and then I started to feel better. I came home from the hospital. I'm like, this is fantastic. The ostomy bag was working fantastic. I could live my life again. I got to be the mom that I've always wanted to be. Um, get to go to the park and to the pumpkin patches and do all that fun stuff. And then last Tuesday, I was like, uh-oh, I picked up the kids from school and I sat down in my vehicle and I was like, oh, I felt a pain and I was like, the infection's back. And so I felt it and I felt another mass of like infection or fluid. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to, I'll have to call my doctor. This was Tuesday afternoon. I realized this and I was like, what am I going to do? I went home. It's probably 3.30 in the afternoon. And I thought, well, I'm going to change my boost because I had my boost on like prosperity and maybe energy or something and calm, I think. So I went home and I changed my boost to prosperity I kept on and then I changed to inflammation and pain. So I put the pain and inflammation boost on. I, and then Wednesday morning I called my doctor and I said, I think my infection or the abscess is coming back. I feel a massive infection, a hard mass and I have pain again. And so they were very diligent about getting me in within 24 hours. So they also said, take a nice warm bath. Maybe that will help things. So I took the five hour drive down there right away. They got me in Thursday morning. I stayed at a hotel on Wednesday night and took the hot bath like they told me Wednesday night. Thursday morning, I went in right away at 9 a.m. and had a CT scan done. And then I met with the doctor at one in the afternoon. And I was preparing myself for what am I going to do? Um, I just was dreading if I was going to have to have more drain tubes put in because I had all of them removed already. Uh, except for two. And I was like, I don't want any more drains because that was probably the most painful part of it. And so I walked in there and she gave, she handed me a copy of the CT scan. She goes, I made a copy for you too, Laura. And I was like, okay, fantastic. And she goes, everything is better. There's nothing there. And I was like, really? So uh, it, I, I was there, it was there, like, um, and she goes, no, the CT scan shows that your inflammation within your colon is down, the inflammation in your rectum is down, like all of the inflammation has improved. There's no collection of fluid that even is drainable or that could be drained. And I was like, really? And I just was like grinning from ear to ear because I knew the only thing I had done after feeling this mass 
was turn on pain and inflammation and take a bath. I mean, and there's no way that a bath could have like taken away all of this and reduced this inflammation in such a short period of time. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, well, let me show you where it's at. I was like trying to push on my cheek and show her. And then I was like, it's gone. I guess it's gone. And so then I'm like, she's going to think I'm nuts. I said, well, I'm kind of doing this voodoo thing that maybe you probably wouldn't understand. She goes, well, whatever you're doing, honey, just keep doing it. And I said, absolutely. And I'm just going to keep praying and thanking God for blessing me with good health because I know that the power of prayer and the power of, I believe that the whole limbic arc system works through obviously quantum energy, which to me, quantum energy is given to us by the Holy Spirit potentially. And God is just blessing me with good health because I'm utilizing the energies that are around me, right? So super fantastic. I was thrilled. I literally skipped out of the, the clinic and I was like, woohoo, I couldn't get on the phone la fast enough to call and tell people. I was like, you're not going to believe this. Like, I'm better. Like, everything showed better when I know it was there two days ago. And so there's definitely power in this. And, um, you know, having a being a person who's dealt with Crohn's disease and inflammation, abscesses, um, I've had my entire colon is just peppered and laced in ulcers. Um, I have been through the gamut. I've had resections of my colon. I've had all kinds of different surgeries throughout the years. So to hear this and to know that I can continue this path of potentially avoiding pharmaceuticals because she told me there's no need to do anything. Everything looks better. And I was like, Thank you so much. That was such a huge blessing. And so I'm thrilled and I'm not turning off pain and inflammation anytime soon because I know that healing is a process and I know that it's not just going to be overnight, you know, completely healed. And I want to make sure that I fully heal my body. And so very excited about that. And not only that, but I feel like having this community and being able to share this and tell people about this the way that I feel, um, even I think with the prosperity and the, the joy and peace that I feel, even having going through a divorce at the, the, this time is amazing. So I really think that it gives you a sense of peace and well-being, especially when you feel better. I, I know anyone who hasn't felt, better, felt well knows that a lot of times it affects who you are. It affected who I was as a mom. I was crabby, short tempered and everything like that. Now that I feel well, I can have more patience. I can just be who God truly purposed to me to be, which is a good, kind, loving human being and not have to worry about constantly being in pain 24 seven. And to me, that alone is such a huge blessing. So I appreciate Bob and Daniel and my dear friend who introduced me to this. Thank you guys so much for, um, taking time to visit with me, answer questions, and to allow me to share my story today. So thank you.